We are back with another five questions with ABJ, uh, Conrad Weiser High School, uh, here for Spotlight Slam, Students to Superstars, uh, hosted by Ace Austin in conjunction with AXW Wrestling. And I'm here with... Chio Frost. Uh, also, you can find me as Chio Valentine online there as is. well. Uh, the Chio Frost. Listen, if you're in the Northeast business, you know about this guy. This guy works hard, been doing everything up and down the business, and now, you know, taking a more of a production side of things. I, I am very proud of you because uh, you got the name of the high school out your mouth yeah. for, for, for this. Yeah. Uh, There's a lot of bonus takes <laughs> of me trying that, uh, but we, we got it down this time. So what are your current, what's your current goal in life? Uh, I mentioned before you should have asked me this like 20, 30 years ago <laughs> when I was still wrestling. Now that I'm retired from the ring, uh, current goal is just to be the best man that I can and give back to the industry that gave so much memories to me right now. So. Anyone who can achieve their dream in and out of the ring just by one small percentage of whatever I can give, even if it's not training, even if it's just verbal knowledge, that's, that's my goal, just to help everyone else succeed. Yeah, and you've been doing a fantastic... You've helped me and myself BP numerous times, so we're very appreciative of you. Uh, what are you currently doing? I think I have a piece of my beard on there. What are you currently doing to achieve your goal? Well, currently today, I'm, I'm donating my time here at this event. Uh, with with uh, Ace and the AXW to Conrad Weiser, the musical department. Uh, other than that, like 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 I said before, I'm giving back to every everyone else. Uh, besides, you know, um, offering my services at, at a fee, of course. But at the same time, I'm doing so much more behind the scenes that people don't realize mm -hmm. of uh, watching matches, giving the the new guys advice. Uh, helping the promoters out however I can possibly, and also running my own podcast, helping them plug their events whenever possible. Yeah. Uh, what is a current possible uh, setback or distraction from your goals? Time. We all are limited uh, to the time we have on this earth, uh, to the time we get to spend with uh, family and friends and time at events. So uh, prior to me doing what I'm currently doing, uh, um, just time spending with the wrestling industry took away from a lot of time I got to spend with family and friends. Now, currently, it's still kind of in that ballpark there, but it's weeding down since I'm not performing on the shows, uh, so I'm not traveling as much. Mm -hmm. So going forward, as soon as I'm retired doing um, working with sound and doing behind the scenes, I'll have all the time in the world then to spend with uh, – I hate to say it, grandkids. Yes, uh, it, what, it, it's showing. It's showing. What's going like, to happen? I'm not trying then, to show my age. Then the grandkids and the daughters are all going to get in the business, and then you're going to be back anyway. Well, well, they <laughs> all they already are. Yes. And, and, and anyone who knows uh, JoJo from JoJo Photos, uh, she's uh, she was training to become a wrestler, but then she found the love of photography. So now you Much can see you body. see her all over. And now my grandsons are getting involved. They're, they're starting to travel with me to help me out with the sound equipment, and they're slowly getting in the ring little by little, yeah. uh, but not as at the fast pace that I did. Yeah. Uh, I want them to learn the, the rights, the wrongs, and be a lot more safer than I did because my career ended a lot sooner than what I expected. Yeah. So what, are you, what, uh, what currently motivates you or inspires you when it comes to your goals currently? Just the youth, like uh, uh, besides the the youth of my family, the grandkids, the youth that are participating in the world of wrestling, who's continuing a legacy that was passed down before me from others that 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 I was fortunate enough to learn from a lot of people. Now I get to see others to follow that same dream, same footsteps in their own ways, and then so on. After them, they're going to be the vets. They're going to be the ones passing down the torch to the next generation after them. So basically, it's just to see this legacy of pro wrestling strive and move on to, 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 to the future for bigger and better things, which since back then... The good old uh, golden era, we had black and white. Guys wasn't doing all the fancy moves that they are. The, our wrestling gear wasn't made to the top quality that it is now. So every generation, the pro wrestling world just gets better and better and better. And that's what I love seeing. Yeah. Uh, so are you, what are you currently grateful for and are you happy? I'm grateful that ever since uh, I did step away from the ring that uh, – 
I found other opportunities to to uh, um, still be a part of the industry mm -hmm. in one form or another. Uh, most guys, once they lose their career, they just hang it up and and they sit home and become bitter and think about, damn, I could have been. No, you still can be. You still can contribute in other ways. You just got to find out what works for you. So I'm grateful enough that uh, the door didn't shut on me right away, that other promoters out there was gracious enough to pull me in and say, hey, we still have other work. You're not done. There's, there's still more work for you to be done. Yeah. Uh, where can people find and support you? Uh, there's a whole bunch of social medias out there. I'm not going to go into saying each and every one because each one's different. But if you go to uh, Chio. 247.com that's chio247.com uh, I have everything linked up to there on there uh, as far as uh, Facebook, YouTube uh, Instagram uh, I think I even have MySpace on there too actually wow. I need I, to make a new one yeah yeah it's, it's still, <laughs> I, I tried logging on the other week and it's like uh, you can't really do much with it anymore. Yeah, it's not but, the same. but I still have it though. It's still yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, the podcast. Talk about the podcast. Plug that. Uh, wow. Uh, yeah. We're on. Uh, we're coming to the end of season three of this year. We see uh, the end of season three of uh, the Body Slams podcast. Uh, we we start out with Breakfast and Body Slams. Uh, and, and then we had Thursday Night Slam and Pop-Up Bite Bombs, but everything can be found on BodySlamsPodcast.com and it'll link up to all of our other social medias. Uh, it'll have the playlists of updated playlists as soon as we go live and it's done. Our YouTube playlists are up so people can re-watch it if they like to, as well as our audio playlist. So you can, uh, if you're on the go in the gym, in the car, you can actually listen to us on there as well, though. Keep killing the game, brother. Yeah. That's going to do it. I try. I'm getting on your level. I'm, I'm trying so hard. It's, it, it, it takes a lot of work <laughs> yeah, to be this terrible. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Five questions with ABJ. The hold of mic. You're not throwing me through no windows. I only, I only take bumps for Gavin and Leo. Huh? Is it bad? All right, plug road, road mic. No, don't plug road. They don't pay. They ain't paying me. Well, then we'll turn it this way. I mean, you could put it there. Show, you know, show that I'm a little bit of a baller. I spent money on equipment. He uses the money. He uses what charity comes in. This is. I think I'm doing karaoke. I'm looking at the screen. I'm doing hair and makeup on the fly. Hair and makeup on the fly. There you go. All right, cool. The hair and makeup department. Listen, here. when you when you when you make it big, you know. Yeah, I know for real. I wish I can get on your level. <laughs>